Democracy Heroes Award, Africa. The nominees, People's Choice of the Year. Abba Yusuf Kanu, Alex Oti Abia, Kileb Musfang Platu, Umaru Bago Niger, Umar Basi Enna Akwaiba, Hyacinth Halia Benue, and the winner is Umaru Bago. My name is Mohamed Umaru Bago. I'm the former governor of Niger State. Uh, I've been in the National Assembly, I've been a banker. I worked uh, as a party man, and uh, today I'm the governor of Niger State. I feel very good. It's always good to be celebrated, it's always good to be uh, honored. Anytime people recognize you, it means they've given you a tall order. It means you want, they want you to push more and keep pushing, you know. So I don't envy myself but I can't help it. It's not a story, it's just a reality. Uh, Nigeria has been, is blessed with a lot of uh, resources. Before the advent of crude oil or petroleum product, we were agrarian and we're still agrarian. My state, Niger state, is the largest state in terms of land mass in Nigeria. Niger state is sitting on 76,000 square kilometers of arable land, uh, four hydropower dams, 92 earth dams, water dams and um, we don't have any other thing outside agriculture so we are now having a backward integration in agriculture to go back to the basics so that our people can feed themselves and be able to be uh, independent and also very very financially stable and economically very stable there will be food security and uh, employment when you look into our literatures People who authored books that we read in schools, the, the, the books we read while we were growing up, did not portray a farmer to be a prosperous person. When you see the photo of a farmer in our literatures, it was a poor man with a hoe, with torn clothes and everything. And people decided to desert farming. But now I'm a governor. I went through all the ranks, you know, and I'm a governor. A governor that is a farmer, so that the younger generation will be inspired by what we do and see farming as a way of prosperity. Niger State wants to be the next Massachusetts of Nigeria. It means it wants to be the Boston where all the Harvard and the MIT are all stationed. Now we have institutions of learning that we want to upgrade that are state owned into the university statuses. Uh, we are agrarian now, we have a College of Agriculture in Mokwa, which we are very ambitious to convert to University of Agriculture and Climate Change, in tandem with our Green Initiative. You know, we're the only state in Nigeria that has done a subnational Green Economic Summit of recent times, and uh, we have put ourselves, you know, in the forefront to drive a uh, uh, Green Initiative, clean energy. Uh, that is one. Secondly, we have University Niger State uh, Polytechnic, who is supposed to be a hub for innovation and technology. As such, we are also ambitious to give it the status of a university. We have a School of Health and Medical Sciences, which we are also very ambitious to convert to university. So we have a lot of them, so that our people will be equipped very well. We have to give agriculture the respect it deserves. Niger State has just made procurement of some new technology and machineries in agriculture. Uh, we want to we have provided ourselves as a pilot state. We want people to see prosperity in agriculture. We're creating about 100 farm estates, over 1 million hectares of land, where we provide accommodation, hospitality, and all the necessary services for people. We want to create employment where people would uh, be independent. People will be self-sufficient. You know, and agriculture is not just about cropping. A lot of people reduce agriculture to just cropping. Cropping is just one arm of agriculture. Animal husbandry, uh, aquaculture, all these are, you know, agricultural uh, initiatives. And it has a long value chain, you know, from production to processing and also to even for consumption. You know, this is a long value chain. So 
we are encouraging or calling on the youth you know, to persevere with the challenges of time and also look at the way out of this crisis by uh, taking agriculture as a way out of this crisis. You know, economically, the globe, uh, globally, there's a recession. And Nigeria is not uh, an exemption to that. Uh, but uh, there are tough policies of this government that have come in place, especially removal of subsidy. But this is necessary for transition into the next generation Z. So my advice to everybody here is that uh, come and join us and let us be agraria that we are. Thank you.